everybody, Troy Anderson back again for another episode of Boot Camp TV. Just wrapped up our Wednesday Modified Team Handball. Here with Megan to find out with a couple things. We kind of hit in on a couple new uh, little items to talk about after we wrapped up Boot Camp today. But first, what we need to know is, did we go grocery shopping or not? Yes, we did. Thank goodness. And what did we get? I got eggs, I got bananas, oranges, apples, mm -hmm. um, I got some vegetables. What did I get? I got, oh, I got some of those red potatoes because I really like to roast mm -hmm. those with a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I get? I got some onions, you know, just the basics for okay. now. So how have we been doing with the non-exercise days? We had a day in between here, so inchworms and squats, where are we at with those? I didn't do it We've been, yesterday. We've not been doing them. All right, it's so we're, we're holding you to this for for Friday's workout, we want to see 10 inchworms and, and, and 100 squats per day. So you got that Thursday, you'll do those. Which brings us to the point of the day, which is talking to Meg about, and she didn't quite grasp during the workout itself. Um, more importantly is to do a movement well and to continually do it, especially if you're doing workouts for time, as opposed to just try to do as many little bits as you possibly can. A really common boot camp or bodyweight calisthenic is mountain climbers. And Megan, along with a lot of other people when they're doing mountain climbers, tend to really cut mountain climbers short. They really stick their butt up in there and they start to modify these things in an effort just to kind of get in movement. What you really want to do with the mountain climbers, you want to lower yourself into what would be kind of almost a pure push-up position and then you're going to drive this bigger range of motion. Even if you just alternate as such, that's fine. If we can move a little bit faster, great. If we can really move faster, great. But those small movements that we're doing that are slower or the larger range of motions excuse me that we're doing that are slower are more relevant to this than this is so that's a real key if you're out there doing exercise on your own work on greater range of motion that's a really key improvement point that you might not think as opposed to getting a whole bunch of those tiny little things in so we kind of explained that to megan after the fact and she really got it the next thing is you guys went and had dinner somewhere last night <laughs> we went to my mom's house and and it's a very interesting thing because most people when we go to family or relatives or friends or whatever for dinner and they might even know or they might not know what we're up to as far as moving in regards to losing body fat and getting in great shape. They think they're really being supported. They really mean well, but sometimes we have to be a little bit clearer with them. So you guys had some food that wasn't quite within the scope of what you're really trying to look to do, right? No. And so it's a really hard fine line to walk and that's that's that support category that we're looking at and so i think the best thing that we can do and it's really tough with with your mom and stuff because moms like to support and 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 and, and uh, kind of mother so to speak their children um, is to just really let them know what you're working on and let them know what you're doing not necessarily expect them to cook you special food but just let them know so do we have any tactics or ideas after our little discussion about that on how to possibly deal with that? Because it will happen. If the thing is, it's not, not going to go away. It will occur again. Yes. Um, I, I just need to be stubborn and tell her no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to eat yeah. your lasagna. Another really good tip is this. I actually had a discussion with a, a lady, um, which could make, potentially that could work, potentially could make, cause some hurt feelings. Um, one thing that I've suggested to people in the past is to provide that person an other option of a very similar type of food. So, for example, if they have lasagna, maybe you do a little bit of research and provide them a recipe. Maybe you still eat what they serve you that day, and it might not be exactly what you're looking to eat or whatever, but provide them with some information, a tactic. At least you're arming them with a way to help you and to still feel good about helping you. So that's kind of the, the tip for today. So, back for scavenger hunt on Friday, trying to move you up the ranks of scavenger hunt. Rep extra, extra, extra repetitions of squats and inchworms on Friday. And uh, of course, we'll have the accelerator on Friday. And as always, folks, remember fitness ain't pretty, results are.